All right. Here we have the Five Points Road we're crossing in not Chickamauga, Chickamauga, Georgia. The 4501 passed a few minutes ago. You probably heard it at the beginning blowing the whistle for a nearby crossing. All right, it's the first signal here. But first thing I'm going to get out of the way real quick. This crossing used to have wooden gates. In fact, Owen Street, I think that's a Owen Street 2. That guy, he had a video of this crossing back when it still had wooden gates. But they've been removed since, since School Street. We went through here in 2007 and now our place was aluminum once. But even with those gone, still got some interesting equipment. So let's take a look at the first signal here. Here we have an unmarked base. And, but right up here, the gate mechanism. The thing that I find interesting about it is the fact that the gate mechanism is a GRS one with the newer logo. Something you don't really see too often, if at all. In fact, that's the first time I've ever seen that. So yeah, rather neat how it has the GRS gate mechanism still. And right here we have an old dot tag from the Southern Railroad that's rather faded. Then we have the emergency information as you see in dot numbers 719614B. As you can see, it's owned by Chattanooga and Chickamauga Railroad, but the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum operates over it. The uh, lights on the signal are Safetran 8-inch lights. Here's a look at the back of one of them. And then the bell right up here is a Safetran mechanical bell. And then on the signal we also have some unknown 4-inch gate lights, I believe are from Progress Rail, they're LED. And then we have General Signals gate light, which I believe is also LED. And I'm going to cross the street here once I get the chance to, so after these cars... So yeah, here's the... This is somewhat busy street. But anyways, here's the second signal. It's similar to the first. I'll s and I'll talk a bit more about the gate mechanisms in a bit. Right there, another unmarked base. Nothing on the back either, it's just completely blank. Then we have a second GRS gate mechanism with the newer logo. These gate mechanisms look very, very similar to Safetran ones, especially the uh, gate arm, gate mount arm there. I it's called. But yeah, this piece right here, the tap right now, those look very similar to the Safetran ones, though. There are some differences on the front, it looks like. But yeah, I was expecting this to have safe train gate mechanisms, not GRS. There's no look at that logo. This is the later one that the Lexi lights used. And then this signal has more... Oh wait, that's right, the dot tags. First right here we have a Southern Railroad dot tag. It appears that Georgia required railroads to put the state as well as the reporting mark, so it says Georgia SOU. And then we have the emergency information again. Because this is the next Southern Railroad line. And then the lights are all safe and 8 inch lights. Three, all three pairs. There's a look at that light head there. And then we have more of those. Progress Rail gate me Progress Rail, I believe, prog believed Progress Rail LED gate lights. As you can see, also the cross bucks here are double sided. So they normally would have been mounted. They're supposed to be mounted so that they're on both sides of the pole, but they didn't do that. And anyways, this is on the Chattanooga and Chickamauga Railroad line. That way is looking north towards Chattanooga. That way is looking, we're actually in Chickamauga, so that way is looking south towards Somerville where 4501 is going excursion trip and uh, oh yeah that's right the relay case is right over there with uh, as you can see on a gate light but I don't think it lit up but yeah so that was really good so yeah this is the five points road we're crossing in Chickamauga Georgia unfortunately it's, it's so windy that I actually blew my tripod over so yeah, over and out.